Everybody get your motherfucking roll on. I know shorty and she doesn't want no slow song. Had a man last year, life goes on. Hi everyone, what's up? My name's Elantra and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I only used the Morphe 35B palette on my eyes. And I'm not a fan of long intros, so let's just get started. So I already went ahead and filled in my eyebrows and primed my eyelids. And I'm going to be going into the Morphe 35B palette. And for today, I'm going to experiment a little. I've never used a green on my eyes before. So that's what I'm feeling today. I'm a little bit nervous, but whatever. I'm going to start off with this color. And I'm just going to use this as like a base, kind of. So I'm just going to apply that everywhere, all over my eyes. And this brush that I'm using, I got it from Amazon. And I think it came in a pack of five brushes and it was like $2. I'm telling you right now, Amazon is the plug for eyeshadow brushes. Now, keep in mind, you do get what you pay for, but they're cheap and like, they're pretty good quality, especially for the price. I'm going to be going in with this green shade right here and uh, I'm just lightly tapping that onto my brush you see that pigment it's crazy I'm so nervous so I'm gonna start with this color at the top because I'm thinking about doing a cut crease but I'm still not sure I never noticed that this product has a lot of fallout I don't know if you can see this you guys see that? That's all fallout. Oh my God, sorry, you have to see my gross ass acne. So now I'm gonna take this shade down here and I'm using it on one of the Amazon brushes and this is what the head looks like. And like I said, it's like $2 on Amazon. If I can find it, I'll have it linked down below. If I can't, I'm sorry. I'll just link down below the Amazon website. So I'm going to try to concentrate this color like higher than where my lids are. And I'm just going back and forth. So honestly, I don't like the way that brush picked up the product. So I changed my mind. I decided to go with one of these brushes. This is from my Naked palette. And uh, the color just wasn't showing. I'm literally just swiping the color left and right and I'm already liking the way it's starting to look. This is so out of my comfort zone but like the thing is I feel like if you want to get better at your craft you're going to have to force yourself to come out of your, your comfort zone. My safe colors are like browns and nudes so this is very very new to me. Now I'm going back in with my Morphe M13 brush. I'm going to blend these two colors together just to create more of a, a smoother transition color between the two. And honestly, I feel like the more I blend, the darker it gets on in person. I don't know if it's transferring through the camera. But <laughs> I remember that I did do like a little smoky eye with this brush. And there might be some black eyeshadow residue on the brush. But it's whatever because it's too late now. <laughs> Blending is my cardio. Blend, blend, blend. <laughs> That's why I'm so fat. <laughs> Blending is my cardio. So now I'm going to be taking this green down here. And the brush I'm using is from MAC. And this is the 22.6 SE brush. And now with this color... I'm going to try to focus it like very near my lids but not touching my lids if you know what I mean just around my lids just to darken it up a little getting it ready for the cut crease you know so I know the line looks crazy harsh right now but don't worry that's why we blend so I'm going to make the other side just as harsh as this one. Now I'm gonna be blending with, yup, you guessed it, my Morphe M13 brush. It's literally my only Morphe blending brush I have. I need more, cause these are pretty bomb. So I'm just blending it like side to side. 
and circular motions as well. So I'm about to cut the crease, but before I do that, I'm just going to take a baby wipe and I'm going to clean my eyelids. I saw this trick on Instagram. I wish I could remember the beauty influencer's name. All I remember is that she used a baby wipe and she cleaned all the excess product from her lids before doing a cut crease. So she says she does this all the time. That way the color can be more vibrant once you put on, um, put the color on the lid. So now that I removed all the excess product from my lids, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm taking one of these Amazon brushes and I'm going to be applying that only like around there. So I'll show you. I like to take the brush and just apply it like this. So now I'm going to be shaping it. First, I like to just make a straight line. And just look up a little and you see where it touches it that's where I'm gonna cut the crease I like low-key think this one came out way better than this one but they're both presentable I guess oh, oh no Yo, does anyone else's back be hurting when they sit down to do their makeup? I never sit to do my makeup, only on video. Like, I always have to be standing and dancing. The sitting down thing, I don't know. So now I'm just going to set my concealer with the same shade that I used when I first started doing the eyeshadow. So now I'm going to be taking this green right here, and I'm going to take my fingers, like usual i'm gonna rub that right where my cut crease is so look how pretty this green is like what okay and i'm only placing that exactly where i placed my concealer i'm gonna be taking a flatter brush and i got this at amazon.com because they bomb or whatever and I'm taking the same color and I'm only using the brush so I can get closer to the line. Okay, so I know my eyes look really crazy right now, but like I could tell that it's going to look bomb when I add the eyelashes and everything. So I'm actually really excited. So now I'm taking the same baby wipe and I'm cleaning out all of the excess product that I left behind. Let me be the one to tell you that if you're you're like a nude scout and you've never tried experimenting with different kind of colors, I highly, highly recommend it. Like, I wouldn't walk out wearing this eye look, but like if you love makeup and you love just playing with it, I highly recommend going outside of your comfort zone. So I'm back and all I did was put on lashes and eyeliner. I'm sorry. I know I say this in like every single video. My camera keeps overheating and it like, it still records. For like about a minute or so and then it shuts off so that sucks so i didn't film my whole face because i already have like three maybe even four videos of me applying my face routine and it's the same exact thing the hourglass foundation the tarte concealer and the anastasia beverly hills cream contour kit same methods so I didn't didn't film that, but the highlighter that I used was the Maybelline Chrome Chrome uh, Master Chrome Highlighter. What the hell's wrong with me? The lippy that I decided to go in with is Nova from the Kylie Cosmetic The Weather Collection. This is more of a peach nude. So now I'm gonna put on the Fenty. So when I put on my lip gloss, I do put it like higher than where my lip line is. And that's it for today's video.